the first instructions in meditation is to set up straight. That applies to the body, but also to the mind. Because as the mind goes through the day, it's leaning forward or back, to left or right, leaning into thoughts of the future, leaning back into thoughts of the past, leaning left and right. It means leading towards things you like or you dislike. On top of that, they're leaning under your delusions and leaning under your fears. And when you're going through the world leaning like this, everything you see is all askew. So try to get your mind straight right here in the present moment. Whatever comes up, admit that it's coming up so you can know what to, the skillful thing would be to do with it. That's what the acceptance means in meditation. Not so much you just leave things as they are and be neutral and equanimous. It means you be undisturbed by things as they are, but then you realize if there's something unskillful here, you've got to do something about it. If there's something unskillful, you want to maintain it. But you see clearly only when the mind is straight like this, sitting up straight, not leading towards the things you like or dislike, or your delusions, or your fears. You want the mind to be a, a fair and honest mind, a just mind. So give it a good, solid place to stay. It's when people don't have a solid place to stay that they're really easily influenced by currents around them. It's like a boat without an anchor. The currents of the ocean can come from the east, and so it goes to the west. It comes from the west, it goes back to the east. And who knows where it's going to end up. Whereas the boat has a good, strong anchor, then no matter how strong the currents are, it's going to stay right there. Here we stay with our decision to look for a happiness that's harmless, a happiness that is true, that is reliable. We don't want to get deflected from that. We know that this is where it's found. So we dig in right here, get anchored right here, and then sit up straight. That way, whichever way the currents come from, you're still right here. And you can see them for what they are, instead of being influenced by them and just going along with them without realizing it. You see, okay, this current is coming from here, that one's coming from there. Especially now that we've got the media in our hands all the time. You have to be very careful about the influences of the world outside. They're bombarding us more than they ever have in the past. And we're getting more bombardment from strangers than we ever had from the past, so we have to be very careful. So stick with your determination that the happiness you want in life is a happiness that's harmless, it's a happiness that's reliable. It depends on being generous, being virtuous, and developing the mind in meditation. That's where your happiness is going to be found. And that's for the other currents of the world. Just watch them go past, go past. If there's a way you can deflect them in a good direction, well, you're, you're solidly based, and so you're better prepared to do that. And if you can't, well, you just have to let them pass. There's only so much that we can do as people, and if you focus on too many things, then nothing gets done. So you want to focus on something that really is reliable. We've got the teachings of the Buddha, we've got the example of the Noble Sangha. These are the people we can trust. And so if we make ourselves trustworthy following their example, there'll come a point where we don't have to depend on them outside anymore. because the mind has its own foundation. So we're working on that right now. Sometimes the currents come and seem to wash it away. We'll just start, start back up again. Don't get discouraged, because it's only here that true happiness can be found.